guys. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't even know the last time. It's been a while. Having a newborn, or he's a newborn, having a new baby, it gets a little crazy up in here. Washing dishes, he gets into the pots and pans. Or I go to the bathroom and he wants me right when I'm peeing. Or I find him going into our bedroom and playing with the blinds. So it's been a little bit crazy, a lot of cardio definitely. But we're not gonna talk too much about, about this new baby. Um, I am officially, officially, because we didn't know what the heck was happening again officially 15 weeks pregnant. That's three and a half months. You follow me on social media, you found that, oh, you heard that we weren't gonna find out the gender until I popped this baby out. Things took a little bit of a turn last week. We decided to do a genetic test. In the genetic test, they take blood out. Basically, they wanna find out if the baby is going to uh, be born with any disorders. I got my results last week and they came back at high risk for down syndrome um there is definitely some tears and i was afraid and scared and um, a lot of things that just naturally pop up and i had to really sit down and reflect on what this all meant um just in a spiritual level so this happened okay this happened last week so it's been a different week for me today we went to go get an ultrasound and the ultrasound they basically do measurements first of all this whole experience was a super super just just different energy the counselor the counselor basically tells you um, you know what you what to expect if you're if your baby is going to have Down syndrome and different uh, ways of finding out for sure if the baby's gonna have Down syndrome at this point, we're like, okay, you know what? Whatever you want to give us, it's fine. We're going to accept it either way. I got the ultrasound, and they pretty much measure, you know, they'll measure, like, the forehead and the arms and, like, anatomy of the baby. The ultrasound was, was fine, uh, but I also found out that I'm not 17 weeks. I'm actually 15 weeks, which puts me at a due date of the week before Thanksgiving, which is kind of cool. My results for my due date were off, which then made the imbalance come back for the high risk Down syndrome. The baby is measuring smaller than it would be at 17 weeks, which then puts me at 15 weeks. So everything is good. I still did get the test done. I got the blood. They give you two options. One is the needle and the belly, and that one's that was a hundred percent they can tell you a hundred percent if the baby has down syndrome and then they do the blood test which is 99.1 the only thing with the a hundred percent test is that it does cause miscarriages and i didn't want to go there so i'll be back in three weeks to see how the baby is starting to grow so everybody wants to know why we found out um, just like you know what no more surprises we're over surprises first we took four pregnancy tests. And those were negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive. And then we get the Down syndrome thing. We find out that I'm really actually not the weeks that I thought I was. We're pretty done with surprises. We ended up finding out the gender. So the baby is not even an inch yet. It's half an inch. So the baby is really, really small right now. We saw him and he looks just like Aviel. It's crazy. It's really weird. I was looking at a picture of Aviel. I'm excited to stay active. I'm, I think the first time I, you don't know what you're, you know, you're, you should put your body through. You don't know what you're capable of. Um, I think now that I know what I did with my first one, now I know what to do with my second one. So I committed to staying active and um, not just walking. I was active with Avi, but I was also, I was doing a lot of walking and it was like really small exercises. I committed to going to CrossFit and committed to still going to the gym here, lifting my weights because I don't want to, I don't want to miss these games, you know? I want to keep 
my muscle this time. Well, my eating has been a little bit crazy. It hasn't been like exactly how it's supposed to be. I do have extra goodies here. I do have extra goodies here. But I'm also very aware when I do it and how much of it. I would say I'm pretty good. It's 80% clean. I'm still doing my two shakes my Herbalife shakes, I'm still doing my tablets, water, and as you can see on my Instagram, I've been working out, so it feels pretty good, I feel pretty good. I do definitely see my body change so much faster with this pregnancy, because the first one, you know, your body's not, your body's like stretching into it, now that my body understands what to do because it's done it before, my body's just like, ah, here's the belly. I know you want to see the belly.